Okay, guys. Um, I uh, saved you guys the trouble of watching me scrape this gasket off here and get all that crap out of this thing. Uh, it was quite a bit of uh, digging and scraping to uh, get that all out of here. So, um, carburetor is back on the linkage. See if I can get you guys in the shot again. That looks a little better. Uh, the linkage is back together. And, uh, yeah, and I dropped the washer that goes here and it fell down inside. So we ended up taking the back side off. Um, let's see if I can turn that around for you. So the, the back of the motor here has been removed. Um, let's see here. What else have we done? Um, that's about it. So I haven't left you too, too much hanging, I don't think. Um, you guys can see I got the lights back in the flashlight part of my camera. So that's working much better. So maybe you can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, this still needs to be adjusted eventually when I figure that out. So I think what we're going to do next is uh, I think I'm going to try to get you up a little bit higher um, and see if I can get you in a position where you can see what we're doing with this coil and uh, get that bolted back in. That should be pretty self-explanatory. I don't think there'll be much to that, hopefully. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. So, Okay, guys, I think I got you in the shot pretty good. Got the light on. Let's get this coil out of the box here and see how this goes together. So, basically, it looks like there's a rubber gasket in there, which I think I'm going to leave in there. I think I'm going to try to leave this one in there, too, if I could. I don't know. Um, this coil wire can be pushed on. Let's get these screws out of here. So. Yeah, that screw goes all the way to China. So, just trying to push that coil wire on up inside there. So that's up in where it needs to be. And Looks like we need to be closer going that way. We need a lot different. Maybe, maybe we can get the screw in it. Be honest with you I can't see because I'm too short to even see in there myself but I'm just trying to find the hole in the dark here it's got to be there somewhere I think can't see it. Let me try the other side. Get out of your way. Stand on something. Huh, maybe this coil isn't going to work. 
I mean, I can't seem to get the screw started. I kind of see the hole, but it's about a half a hole off. So, I don't know. I wish it was about a foot closer to the ground so I could actually see what was going on in there. Can't see the hole. Okay. We gotta come up with a different plan. It's probably not re recommended, but yeah, I'm definitely about half a hole off. I mean it goes right up close against the coil. I think I got it started. Not sure. Try to get a screwdriver down in it. Let's see if we can persuade. Okay, well, we got it to start. That's a good thing. Now, one of these wires, they show the top one going this way. And this green one, I guess. Even though you think the green would be ground, wouldn't you? And if this coil was on this side, then the black wire would be the You know, the black wire would be the coil wire. So, I don't know which wire needs to go which way. Does it matter? It probably does. I bet it does. Somewhere, somehow, it probably matters. So... Um, I don't want to take it back off. It's such a pain in the butt to get in there. Well, we know it fits, so. Yeah, they're both coming off high. So, you can see the green wire and the black wire. You would really think the black wire would be the... Uh, the wire to go to the coil. So I think I'm going to go with that plan, even though this hole is much bigger. Ah, that could be the defining part. The hole in this wire, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the hole here is much bigger than the hole there, and this has a tiny little screw. So I guess that's how we tell. Now I gotta get the damn screw started back in it again. This is not easy. It wants to fight me. I have to crawl back up on the chair again. Okay, let me deal with that. Get the other screw, see if we can get that in. That one goes in much nicer. There's actually three screws in it. Not really sure what the theory is behind that. Oh, forgot to put the ground in it. Better do that. 
Otherwise, I don't think it's going to work if they, we don't put the ground in it. Not sure where it's got to be set. I mean, there's a little bit of wiggle room, but not much. It pretty much goes where it needs to, and then that third screw goes in it. And I don't think I put the third screw in it because it was fighting me. So this one's going to go over here. We need a smaller screwdriver. That ain't going to work. Okay. So now, loosen this screw up maybe. Maybe not. It sucks being blind, guys. I need new glasses. Can't see crap. It really does suck being blind. Can't remember nothing. Going blind. So I think if I just hook everything together there, I think we'll be just fine. I think the points are, see here, yeah, I got everything slammed on this side. They've got an insulator in between them. I just want to try to pull that wire down so it doesn't get in the way as much as it probably will want to. Okay, so that one's in there. I wish I had the other screw. I don't know what I did with it. I took it out because it didn't fit. Probably put it in the box of screws. Not sure this is the right one but it kind of looks like it so I know it came out really hard I'm not sure if it was supposed to come out that hard but it did so I'm not sure why they put so many screws in it the other one's a Phillips I don't want to get into the flywheel too much there Okay, it's flush with that. I don't know if it's supposed to be flush or moved out. Let's check it. Maybe I can figure it out. That's flush with this, and this is flush with this. So let's move that back. This is not flush with the case. So let's see if we can kick that back a little bit. Well, I got it back a little ways. Still out a little bit. So, what if I could put a screwdriver in there and push on it? Let's try that. I know I got my arm in your way. See that? Oh yeah, that's much better. I like that. I don't want it grinding in there. So I pulled that wire tight, shoved that wire in there. Uh, let's put the cover on it, or the uh, flywheel, and see if uh, we can get that bolted together. And then we can put the starter back on it and uh, work on getting some spark on this old girl. We had spark on one cylinder. So if we've lost that, we've really screwed up. So. Feels like we're down on. Right 
Crank that down on. See if we can find the holes to put that in. Let's see. Maybe something like this. See what I'm doing here, guys? Putting the uh, dog on here for the recoil. Got you a little out of the shot. Got to get you back in. You guys are getting all crooked over there. I wonder if I can just push this over to you. Well, not really. That whole camera rig is moving. Let's see if I can adjust you. Come over here. Where are you guys going? There. Now you can see what we're doing. You were all over the place. Told you this is my new camera rig. I like it. It's working great. Light's doing good. I got good light in here, I think. I got light above us. So that seems to be working okay. Um, this should probably be Loctited and all that good stuff, but I'm just going to, it'll probably have to come back off again because you know it's not just going to work. Nothing ever just works. So I'm just going to try to tighten them down pretty tight. And then I can get that nut down. Happy taps there. Okay. Um, you know what? I think that nut goes the other way. Do you know why? Because this has like, it's only catching on the inside edge of it. And this one's got like a wear edge on it. So as weird as that is, That you'd think the crown would go up. The crown actually goes down and then it draws down into the flywheel. Oh, it gets even more nut. That's special. You guys could have told me that. Okay, impact gun. That was impacted. Okay, we got that all back together, I think. Now we got to figure out how to put all this back on. Ugh, I'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit. Something like that, maybe. Kind of see this area. We'll figure out how to put that starter back on. Um, if I remember correctly, it came out of there hard. I think there's very close tolerances here. And this goes down underneath that hose will probably need to be put back on why did it go on a lot easier than it came <laughs> before the thing fought with me to get it out of there now it fell on there that's weird I wonder if I should that hose is cracked let's take it out of here since it goes on so easy now This hose is a lot smaller than the hose I have. I'm going to cut this and see if I can recycle it a little. I should put a new piece of hose on there. Well, I got it apart, but I don't have the right size hose still. I uh, went to try to pick a piece up today, and of course, they don't have it. So I'm kind of back to square one again. And the hose that I do have here, yeah, let me see. I got a piece of hose here. Maybe it'll work. I think that's all vacuum anyway. I 
You know, I think it's just a vacuum line so it doesn't even get fuel in it. Boy, that's too small. That's too that's too small. Yeah, too small. This one's probably too big. Yeah, too big. The other pieces I got are too small, too big. I might take a, a ride. See if let me take a ride up to this hardware store. I take you guys along, but I don't know if you want to go for a ride or not. Maybe. Okay, guys, quick trip up to the hardware store. Uh, I was going to take you, but I didn't. And they had 3 16 fuel line, which is perfect, I believe, to fit on there. Oh, yeah, that's like the, the nuts perfect. And um, I think that'll work just fine. And we'll cut this off. Plug it on. I got the clamps on the other line. So I'd say about there. I'll do the trick. Gotta love that hardware store just up the road. It is super handy. Um, let's change these clamps out. Spring clamps. These are the kind that should go on my XR75. I should steal them and put them on. <laughs> Use them on that bike. So, because those are the right ones. And I believe that fuel line is the right size for that bike, too. So, I may change that fuel line out. I know it's not the Tigon fuel line, um, but uh, it would look, it looked the right part on the XR. So, so yeah, that came off nice. Try to fight this clamp on here. So, kind of wiggling. Crap! Did you see where that guy went? He went flying up that way. Uh, give me a second. I gotta swear for a minute, okay? I'll be swearing back in a second. Well, that sucked, guys. I lost my freaking spring clamp so not using the right tool should have used my vice grips and then it's got bigger teeth and holds it steady and uh, aggravating oh look how look how much nicer that works anyway let's get this thing back in the shot again okay I'll we'll turn the light back on. Okay. So, um, yeah, it went flying. It's really sucked. But what are you gonna do? I'll I'll find it maybe someday. I think I went behind the radial arm saw. So, and there's a pile of sawdust back there. <laughs> so, the proverbial needle in the haystack. This is the proverbial spring clamp in the sawdust pile. So, just... Try to get it up on there. It's fighting. Does not want to go. There it goes. So I'm not sure. I think this was fished down behind here. Kind of something like this. Thank God it fits tight. So. I still don't like it. I don't like the way it's fitting in there. 
I like the hose. It's good quality hose. Made in the USA, supposedly. So. Anyway, I changed, I left that one, and this one here I can get to probably easier if I have to put a hose clamp on it. But it fit pretty tight. It come off hard, so. Um, I think it'll be okay for now. You have to change that, we can. So let's get the... Uh, I don't think this wire here will give us much issue. It's uh, get you in here a little bit. This is that vacuum um, switch, and uh, I disconnected the coil wire from it because I, I think that may have been what was drawing it and uh, shutting it down so it wouldn't wouldn't crank over. And uh, so, how do we put that in here this way? Something to that effect, I believe. There it goes. Let's find some bolts. I think this big one goes in here. The magnet is extra magnetic today. Extra magnetic today. Wow. There it goes. So we'll tighten that up with the wrench in a minute. We need three seven sixteenths nuts fine threaded with I don't see any washers in the box. So I'm going to assume that these are all we're going to need. They're um, lock nuts, so I don't think they'll go anywhere. The wrench was right here somewhere. What did I do with it? No, I left it over here. They're on one bench or the other. Seems to be the plan of the day. I'm still mad about that stupid spring clip. <laughs> My fault. Took it right off. Those things are hard to find, too. You, you can get them on eBay, but they make the other type, too, that are like they slip around each other and then they like slide through. Those are good, too. So um, I should buy some of those. Like I said, that was just a vacuum line, so I'm not overly concerned um, about like the Tigon fuel line. So, and um, okay, wrench. Craftsman, all wore out. Getting pretty, pretty shot, but. Plus, they're two miles long. Okay. So, that one is a half inch. Okay, tight enough. There's a little thing that went on here. Remember, I left that screw in it? That was to remind me what to do with it. Still not sure what to do with it, but we're going to put it back on. Let me raise you up a little bit. Get you back in the shop. Um, I think it goes this way. And this one slides underneath. Sort of something like that. This bolt comes out, goes back down, tightens up. Doing all this just so I know if I got spark. You know, see if I hook that stupid thing up right. Scratch it.
close enough. Clears, everything's good there. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think that's all we need, right? Uh, to get her to spark out. We can put this vacuum line back on, I suppose. Get this out of our way. How does that go? Well, I should have put that in then first. That one's got to go in here first. Or second or third. And this one goes up here. You know that one kind of fell off when it was on there before, so I'm a little concerned that it's going on there that hard, but not the right size wrench again. Try this one. Yeah, it's going okay. Don't want to strip it out. That'd make you mad. Like when your spring clip goes flying over there some frickin' place. Kind of aggravating. What is there, two different sizes on this thing? Not a lot of room in there. Pretty tight area to work. But we'll get there. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll get there today. Hardware store, nobody was there. It's got three people working. I wouldn't have three people working. That'd be expensive. Maybe two. But it's not it's not my store, but I'd like to keep it open because man, it is super handy to have it so close by. Pretty sure these little screws go in here. So get those. You guys see any of this? What I'm doing? Sorta. Slam this in there. Get the big screwdriver out. That'll tighten them down a little tighter. Okay. Cool beans, guys. That's all back on. Let's see in the box of goodies. I think this was the screw they used to hold that down. That's the one I probably should have put in the coil. You guys can see. That's the one I was supposed to use. Oops. It'll work. Uh, let's do spark first. Get you guys in the shot here somewhere where you can see. Okay, let me straighten you up a little bit. How's that? Yeah, that looks better. Now we got you in there. We'll get this compression tester out of here because we were going to check compression too. We may do that still, but. Um, new sparky plugs now this his motor had originally had champions in it and if any of you guys know anything about champions anymore I don't like them they're uh, it's sad to say but they're not as good as they used to be and I hate despise NGK um, but I always have good luck with Autolite in in cars and stuff so this one here is a, uh, a 353 you guys can see that 
353. I'm looking in the camera and it's upside down, which is kind of cool. Because um, I got the lens thing flipped over. So I have absolutely no idea which way you guys saw it. But anyway, um, yeah, so these are uh, cross-reference with a J4C. And this thing had a J6s in it when I got it. So they had her pretty hot. Not really sure what the theory was behind the sixes. But... Actually, why am I putting the plugs in it? I need to take them out. We need to show you guys that it's got spark, right? Both cylinders. Hopefully. That would be sweet if it did. Okay, that one's cramped off on something. Get another new pluggy. Another new pluggy. And... Try to find a place to stick that where you guys can see it. Should be fun. Not sure. Maybe if I come over the top with it. There you go. That holds it to there and there. Okay, good. Turn it a little bit. Maybe you guys can see that one. Maybe you guys can see that one. We'll shut the light off. That might help. Let me see here. Zoom me up. Nope. Gotta go the other way. Yeah. There. there you go. Now you can kind of see it. Um, let's find the jumper box. Give this a whirl. Literally, give it a whirl. Okay, should we hit them together and see if we can make sparks? You guys said you enjoyed that the last time. See, made sparks. Um, ground, where do you want to ground it? That bolt is what we used the last time. And this is the thing of my duty on this side. So can you guys see? See what happens. We've got spark on both plugs. I don't know if you guys saw that, but man, they were sparking like, like crazy men. Oh yeah, you can see it. I just checked the camera. So, cool beans. We got spark on both cylinders. That can go back on the jump box. And uh, get that out of my way. So, so, yeah man, where's my thumb? There's my thumb. Let me zoom you guys out. Oh, wrong way. Let's go this way. There you go. You're back. So, we successfully got spark on this motor. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, carburetor's all rebuilt. Um, all we're down to now is changing the fuel lines um, spin it around get you back on that side all we need to do is uh, hook up a fuel line from here to the fuel pump and we'll be all set so I think that'll be another installment guys thank you for watching subscribing and commenting I really do appreciate it and uh, stick with us for the next time okay bye